Good evening, everybody. Here we are on the awesome map of Gordok, one of my favorites. It's April 12th, 2017. My name is the Muff Bandit, I'm flying solo tonight. Going to be trying to commentate and fill you guys in on what's going on. We are going to be running Operation Rising Giant for our current One Life event. And in case anybody is wondering, this is Squad Ops. We're a One Life event community. And what's going to go on is all these guys are on their only life. They've got a mission to accomplish against the other team who is starting in a specific location. And I'll be flying around. Uh, giving you the commentary as well as trying to fill in any details and, and answer any questions that you guys have. For the most part, it's a Russia versus militia thing. Militia is going to be holding and defending. They're going to be in India 4, more specifically the village of Akim or Akim or Akim or whatever it is, this village. They're defending it. And you are going to get a lot of cameras tonight. I'm serious. We have like 13 or 14 or more first-person cameras that you're going to have. Uh, ranging from, I don't know. I don't even know if we have a... We do. We have a, one commander's got it. And we have squad leaders that, that have cameras. So you're going to get a hero and see a lot of cool stuff. More so than I will. For the most part, Russia's going to be assaulting. Militia's going to be defending. It's going to be Riverside Farm. Riverside Farm. Now, I had the opportunity to try and eavesdrop a little bit. It sounds like Russia's going to send a cup, uh, one of their MTLB and SBTs to the north. That's a track vehicle. They get two track vehicles in a transport. That's it for vehicles. So the MTLBs can hold a ton of people. They're not going to have to worry about transporting troops, not to mention they get a transport. So they'll get into position. Militia is going to be defending. They're going to have three techies and an MTLB of their own. Not to mention they get a drop of fob at Akeem. And they get to use one lodge jump. So odds are they're going to, you know, place a turret or two. You guys good? See, I'm going to go through the, the the quick rundown. We try to keep things basic and simple so that the players and teams can be more dynamic. Russia's going to start at their main, up at the main with the MTLBs and their transport and their whole team. Militia, on the other hand, is going to bust ass up north. They've got three techies and an MTLB to get themselves up there, not to mention that Logi truck. They're going to go up to Akeem. They're going to drop a fob there, and they're going to wait until live. It's then at live that they can build all of the defenses. They can drop that Logi truck dump and do everything they can. So there is incentive to get up there a little quicker because they'll get the just the regular ticket build, or I'm sorry, the supply ticket build from it, from dropping that fob. But they can't actually drop the sticks down until live. And we'll see that going. Looks like they're getting kind of close. I heard someone say ready. Russians have been planning for a little bit now. As for this giant, awesome river that runs through Gordok, all infantry and all vehicles must utilize bridges. They have to use the bridges, whether it's Foxtrot 7. Here, we'll zoom in a little so you can see. Whether it's one of the bridges in Foxtrot 7 or in Golf 6. There's another one up north here. Hotel 2. So that's going to really you know, slow them down, at least a little bit, make them think, oh, there's some arcs. Okay, Hamlet's giving his orders. Hamlet's the commander. Let's go over that real quick. We've got Hamlet commanding. And I'm on Russia. I'm following the Russians. And I'm going to be following them both side, both times so that you get to hear what Hamlet and his team does this round. And then you'll hear what Xbit and his team does second round. But for now, Hamlet is command. He's got four squads under him. Uh, mostly full, except for... Uh, Silas, we'll get to him sec in a second here, but we'll go best pony, Putin's ponies. Soybean ops, that's OD tap. He grows soybeans. Uh, Szechuan squad, he's Lish, you know, big fan of the Szech uh, Szechuan sauce. And of course, good old Silas. He made himself a nice little freaking 
squad called Back in the USSR. All right, that's good enough. And they're gonna push down that's funny. I like I like seeing the squad names that people come up with, including back in the USSR. Let's look over at squad two. I'm going to back so us up. Will... Hamlet is doing a platoon brief. I'm sure the same thing is going on the other side. Nasty Nate, Hammer and Hutch. Hutch is Hunters. State Defense Forces with Truth Realm. And Shadowed Ritual commanding squad Empire. Their command of all of it is Exbit. And let's just, let's say both Hamlet and Exbit have both commanded on multiple occasions. I don't think that they've commanded against each other, which really won't make much of a difference. They, this, the command never really tends to think about that. They're more worried about what their team's going to do, keeping their soldiers alive, advancing them properly, and, and reaching the objective that they have set forth. The objective is complete control of the town of Keene. You can see there, he's pushing marks. He's telling everyone kind of initial plans, where they're going to move into and stuff. I'll call ready. Which can be a lot different compared to, say, your regular run-of-the-mill vanilla squad game. When when I'm planning a regular vanilla squad game, I, I'll go no more than 10 minutes in. Because things are going to change and stuff is going to happen that no one foreseen. Not everything is going to work out perfectly. And if it does, then you're in the right place anyway. But in this... You've got, you know, here's what we're going to do first. If that doesn't work, we've got this. If that does work, we're going to do this. So they've got plan A and plan B for, you know, three steps down the road. Which can still completely fall apart if they lose their command or certain squad leads and stuff like that. There are so many different things, so many different factors involved. But it's it's really beautiful. Looks like they're, for the most part, ready. Yeah, the Russians loading up, getting the APCs filled. Another thing about these track vehicles, you can hear them from a mile away. And that might even be generous. So we, we can look to see this transport probably push in a little farther. He's got two squads. Well, no, he's got... Yeah, he does. He's got two. He's got Hamley, the command, and then his own squad. That's Lish, Szechuan. All right, we're going to go through some of the cameras. There are going to be a lot. I'm not, I don't even know if I'm going to give them out. There's like 14. I'm going to read them off really, really quick, but Penn is going to slowly filter through them. We've got a crazy Russian, Benbot 16, Big Yes, Hyper Evo, J Remick, Lish, Nacho 24, Nasty Nate, Shadowed Ritual, Truth Realm, Xbit, Silo, Sedingo, Merrick 362, and possibly tactical bird as well. And that's a lot. That's like 15 or 16. You guys are going to have so many different views tonight. But when we get to that point, I would just I want to have it sort of in that uh, crevice right there with that. Um, if you're wondering, run and duck, how how we do it technically. Basically, everybody streams to our main man magician pen. Wait, what fire teams are Who I'm going to. I just. This guy's. He's my world. But we'll get on from that. They, they, uh, yeah. everyone streams to him and then he decides which stream yeah, he wants to show. He's that cameraman, you know, in the football game that he says, go on to, go on to cam seven or whatever, you know, so that they, they could switch from different angles, you know, behind the quarterback, behind the defense, things like that. And so he'll say things like muff is live, you know, and it doesn't matter if it's me or somebody else, as long as they're live, if he sees me talking about a certain situation or a scenario that's going on and he knows he's got a camera down there, he's going to go to that camera. So we are taking the APC. Right. And it's just beautiful. It's beautiful how he does it. He's even got instant replays going now and stuff. I mean, it's only a matter of time until the NFL are asking us for tips. <laughs> it's still a work in progress, though. Like the, the instant replay is. That's definitely not. You know, we just try to always get better. You're right, energy, energy juice. It's like they're all wearing GoPros. 
All right. As you can see, the Russians are kind of relocating. Let me see. We're live at 132. That is 39 seconds from now. It's going to go. Yeah, we got picture in picture. So many different things. I hope we get RPG'd. We're going to look at this Logi truck. It's, it's a guild. Oh, gosh, look at all this. You're going to be on, just for an example, Merrick 362 is in this Logi truck. He's actually going to be looking at me. You won't see me, but I'm looking right at him. And he's looking out the front of that Logi. So we're alive in approximately five seconds. Looks like the Russians are still configuring themselves. All right, they're fired up. We are live, 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 says Lish. And off they go. Get ourselves following these MTLBs. They're definitely going to be slower than the transport. And maybe. Well, we're waiting for a move. I'm going to swing over to the militia side and let's just see where they're set up. When we get there, you want me off gun because I am the AR. Yeah. Cutting you over to Hyper Evo. I think he's on the militia right, side. Um, we're also engaging or we're holding fire until we're actually fired upon. Uh, we're going to try and stay low. We're going to. The information we're going to be Riding giving is going to be techie, more useful than us getting, you know, short as soon as we start shooting. Well, now let's not go that far, Johnny Omaha. I'm not that good, but I try. In my commentary, they're talking about All keeping right, the MTLBs to... on the or, sorry command channel. Right, they're talking about keeping I'm MTLBs on the road because they're yeah. easy to flip. All right, we haven't taken contact yet. Now. I'll grab your... Uh... And they are. I did that one time early still on. Good, right, Hyper? Thank you. No contact. We're good. Still a media scout. All right. So yes. running ducks asking. So you can stream to any client, and that client can use OBS yeah, to receive those streams and see them up. Uh, basically, I'm not exactly sure what I'm streaming to. Pen just gives us the you know the link to stream to, and we stream to it. We have our own personal keys for it and all that. It's a beautiful thing. We got a nice hill over here. Yeah, the, uh, northwest. Good hill. I'm build. sitting over the right, militia so forces. They've got plenty of guys north. You guys. Definitely you covering that bridge. That southern part of the Nasty Nate's got his squad uh, divided into fire teams. Looks like of three, actually. So they're covering the northern bridge. We've got a full squad on the village of Akeem. One to the east. That's That's conservative right there. But you know what? They could be the quick reaction force. They could go wherever needed. It's a big map, though, so it's a long walk. And there's the rest of them. They're guarding the, the southern bridges over by railroad. Guys, get in position. The railroad crossing. Ready. It's, so it's, it's like on the road uh, west of Riverside Farm, so I guess it's heading this way. Sitting in radio tower. Just look how long it takes me to fly around this you map. Want there's so much. Just mount at bunker and move south to regroup with you, then. Oh, good little position in here. They've got the techie looking right down the bridge be able to see anything crossing. Iron Feast, rocking that thing. And you know what? He's got a MTLB and a transport coming his way. This might just be where we see action first. But the MTLB up north as well is about to cross the bridge. And you know what? You don't. You never can tell if what Hamlet's full strategy is. I don't know if if he wants them to cross at the same time or if he wants to create a distraction. Oh, no, Rasta Mouse. No, no, no. You do not have to stream at all. No. It's completely voluntary. This entire community is all voluntary. We've uh, we've actually not made a penny off of this Run yet as far as I'm, I can tell. We've given things away. OWI has given us keys to give away squad keys you know, for the game. But that's about it. And we do it for fun. Look at it's so rewarding and it's such a good time. No, they don't have fifties up yet, but they got fucking guys all over that hilltop staring at me. Start lighting it up, man. They got fucking guys all over that hilltop staring at me. Start lighting it up. And the best thing is right now we've got like Johnny Omaha's hosting us and Any show good show. And CCFN right, and we're gonna do good? the same for everybody else. Up. This is 
best thing about the squad community is how we all come together. That MCOB was still moving south. I lost and we all we, we've got different things. We do a one life event. There's NAS that is the North America squad. There's CCFN, which is kind of the EU version. CCFN is the original. They've been around over a year. Copy that. You want to, you want to stay on the side of the river or do you want to cross ch chase it by crossing? Just stay east, stay east. Copy, copy. Oh, I'm out of range, damn it. Yes, and all the green field. Yeah, just barely. All right, well, you guys got enough sandbags, just uh, how in the heck did Total Providence get all the way up here? How do you even get here? I think there was a glitch or something. I don't know how he got there. That is so weird. He just appeared there out of nowhere. That'd be interesting. Up north on the other bridge, we have squad one. That's Putin's ponies. Squad leader there is best pony. And we might get some shots. So for now, they're just you. positioning uh, on opposite sides of the river, pass. looking at we'll bridges. That side. You go back for you or two. TLB and transport will support you guys up north. And then we'll push towards one. Copy. Alright, we're live on Lish. Yeah, copy that. Copy. I'm gonna cruise down there. You guys are gonna watch Lish. They're crossing the bridge right now. I'm seeing infantry. North sides are standstill. They're looking across the river at each other. I'm seeing infantry to our east. Uh, south of U4. South of U4. Look direct south. You'll see an infantry east, I would suggest pull them back a little bit. Uh, we have no eyes on the contacts to the south. We're clear on the other side. Still real quiet up north. Everyone's just being patient there. But I'm almost back south. Good God, my ping. Yeah, Alright, MTLB, get ready to move out. Let's go. Hold and look, on. Total Providence is off the island. That was so weird. That must have been just some sort Two, of we're bug. We're going to cover you as you cross, alright? Talking about crossing, they've already crossed on the south. Roger. I couldn't hear you over the vehicle. You said you'd be back, so... And you What's the back, mission, so running duck? Okay. As you can see, the most of the militia forces are, are in the north side up here. One, how's it going up there? They are going to be watching Akeem. The, their entire goal is to protect Akeem, the village of Akeem, and hold it for whatever reason they choose. And the Russians need to take it. So they're pushed all the way down here to these southern bridges to try and get some sort of flank. Because the bridge to the north is... They're... There's enemies on both sides. There's enemies up on the east side of that river. And surprisingly, the Russians have already gotten across the bottom. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry, the MCLB south side. Just support squad four. Squad three is moving up north. So it's all pretty moving. quiet. Yeah. All right, Lish. Uh, you take command if I go down, all right? Three, two, one. Copy. Four. Looks like they're about to cross. I'm going to try and draw their fire with this uh, transport. All right, watch I'm going to try and draw their Very fire with this uh, transport. Yeah, see if we can moving, so yeah. I'm clear yeah, up this northern I'm area. Sounds like the southern squad, Lish and uh, Hamlet, the command, are going to try and make some noise. Not seeing any movement currently, just keep moving. And I'll keep checking with the binocs. Completely I'm different. There's like the Lish at command. I'm looking for Hamley. There he is. He's trying to draw some fire with this. Surprisingly. Oh, hey, what's up, Jack Reynolds? Look at Hamley. He's the commander, and he is just cruising on in. He's actually chasing down what appears to be. All right, four, 
regroup at the a end. techie just heading out there on patrol, I'll going nice and slow. I'll pick you up Full on truck of them, too. It's clear up in there. See Iron Feast at the gun. Hyper Evo's in there. They're just on patrol. Once again, I have not seen anything. Well, I think what I'm hiding up to is he might have dropped off infantry at the bridge and then uh, the track vehicle went up. Yeah. It's like Hyper Evo and his boss are just saying, Hey, what's up, Jack Reynolds? How are you? And I can see that MSR going into Good to see you in the stream. Almost a great pound. Yeah. So, there's plenty of places they can still be hiding. This map is. Oh, that's cool. awesome, Grandpa like Joseph. Thanks for being a part of the community. For the Russian. You gotta, you gotta play with both of us, though. You gotta play with, with Johnny Omaha and keep Squad Ops. Just keep eyes out, because we're behind enemy lines as far as we know. I heard. Hamlet say that they're going to begin phase two, which right, means we something's going well for them. They've got foot. this southern squad across. Looks like the northern squad pushed across, too. That's squad four and two. Two is soybean ops. Four is back in the USSR with Silas. So they've got half of them across. There is Procrastinate, a militia soldier up at Radio Tower. I hear Lish detects enemies. Oh, running right by, going right for Hamley. Hamley gets away. Oh! Oh, they just shredded it. They just shredded that techie. Okay, Shadowed Ritual, Lobo Ma, Hyper Evo, Iron Fist, or Iron Feast. And I don't know who that was. Born. Bomber. All go down. Excellent work. Licious squad just lit them up, blew up that techie. That didn't take long. That was just a boom and a half. Yeah, first one's clear. Do you want us to move into All right, MTLB, go back and pick up squad three. Oh wow, you know what that was? That was a that was a grenade. Someone tossed a grenade in there. That was Drew Meister. Drew Meister threw his. He's got the GL, I think. See if I can find him here. Oh no, it was a rocket. He hit him with a rocket. Just one. Took him out though. Well, that's a good start for the Russians. They've efficiently. What is it? Five incapacitations, two, one. They lost one guy. Don't know who it was. It's a big map. So there's so much going on, it's hard to keep track of everything. Looks like for now on the south side, it's going to be pretty quiet. Let's check this northern bridge. They've actually all got into the transport truck. Confirmed Every single one of them. Uh, we lost one. Copy that. How's that, MTLV? It's good. We're mounting up right now. Just one security while the rest come down the hill. Copy that. We're heading to the... Uh... And you know what? This looks like it's going to be a good strategy for the Russians. They're going to go up and they're going to cover, basically flank Akeem while this other squad pushes across the bridge. So let's see where the militia are set up. What a big, beautiful map. So much right, green and point. it's just... Field after field and trees and trees. MTL Every MTL battle is run. different. Do you want uh, my squad being shifted with you or into the J column? You can see there's a lot of red arrows here around Akeem, around this here town. So we need to keep them patient. Still have that squad off to the east RPG covering RPG. everything. I think gonna move and off to the north. This is why I can hear the MTLB taking shots. Point. But there's no casualties up here. They've been at a standstill since they've both reached these positions, though. We got you on Shadowed Ritual. He's flying around. Hey, one beat. Just watching the militia slowly scoot around. They know the Russians are coming, they just don't yep. quite know where. Got their MTLB looking north on the road. Stop behind the tree, I, guess. I want them to get my attention. Alright. Uh, everybody who's in Fire Team Bravo, Negative. go ahead and start putting pressure on that bridge. Wait for I forgot the wolves. Get back up north to this MTLB. You're right. Uh, they're careful, shooting, but I don't know what they're shooting on. at. Just spread out from here, spread out from here. 
Spread out from here, spread out from here. Alright, there we go. Alright, MTLB is holding the We'll just see but what they shoot at for a second here. Across that bridge. We'll try to spree Copy. as much as we can. Yeah, we're trying. It's a, a precarious position. Well, they're taking shots back. Well, you can hold off if you need to. Don't lose your gun. We're almost there. Copy, two and five, be advised they're on the hill in India, two. Keypads, uh, five, one. India, two, keypad five, copy that. Get your yep. MTLP and go up north, Indigo one, Indigo one. Get your MTLP copy. up to Indigo one, fire on him. Hold down yep, your squad on so your side of the bridge. How's it going down there, three? Oh, you can see the tracers coming back and forth. Look at that best pony leading the way, throwing smoke grenades. Alright, four, you're good to move out west on and move through the trees now. But Nasty Nate's not being fooled. Nasty Nate's having his guys fire through the smoke. Oh, reviving is actually not allowed, just healing. Yep, exactly what Jack Reynolds said. And here comes the extreme suppression. These guys are getting closer across the bridge. It's pretty loud, but they're crossing that. It's a big bridge, too. But look at that, they're maintaining suppression. Starting to get across. Ooh, down goes Best Pony. That's squad leader. That's going to hurt. You guys are looking up north of Jay Remick. He's he's firing straight south on the bridge. Which definitely leaves some of those Russians out in the open. Which smoke are they near? They took one down. Cage Sama goes down. Uh, two Russians are down though. Look at that, there's four across, a fifth one. Definitely taking some shots though, they're not out of the water yet. I am calling fall back. Dishka I'm sling, or er, X-Bit the command is slinging lead at them. They're throwing more smokes though, you know they have to. Survival first, they only get one life. And look at that, the MTLB's falling back. And it sounds like Jay remix has got his rocket out. And you know what? The I'm good, I'm good. The MTLB's going south out of Jay Remick's sight. I'm good, go ahead, pull up, pull up. He's got some trees and needles to thread. Alright, well, Jay Remick pulled his rocket out, but the MTLB was fairly smart and they stayed on their side of the river. That's not bad. They know what's a death trap going over there. Let's see what the rest of these guys do. For now, they're taking it easy. They don't have a squad leader anymore. I'm sure they have a second in command. That's actually best pony squad. Fulcrum. Fulcrum's running the show now. Reload. You know what? It looks like Militia's falling back, too. Everyone's falling back to Akeem. All Militia seems to be falling back, with the exception of one or two guys. Rest of around Akeem. Let's check in on the south. Ooh, look at that. Did you guys see him actually hit it? I, it sounded like I'm I did, but I couldn't tell. Leeds getting squad three. That's Lish, I believe. That is. That's Lish's squad pushing in from the southeast. I didn't see it. This is yeah, squad I'm one. Uh, best Bunny's down. This is Fulcrum. Uh, we've crossed the bridge. We've taken two uh, losses. We're kind of pinned down, though. Yeah, northeast and east. Copy that. Fine. Uh, MTLB. What's the status on that? Can I get across the bridge with you? I've got great communication right now between squad leaders. You know, Jack Reynolds, I don't know if there's been any hits on the MTLBs from rockets. Perhaps maybe some, some NSV fire on each other, but that's about it. We'll assault Akeem from the front. Three, four, we need you guys pushing up as quick as you can. We're going to distract him. You guys hit him from behind. 
Lots of local comms. We got rockets incoming. Get down. It's right, firing from the peninsula. I heard someone talking about rockets incoming. I think that was hand yep, leech. Yep, it's a uh... squad lead or er, command. I can hear Fulcrum. Fulcrum is the new squad leader for Squad One, and he's kind of panicky. He's got his guys across the bridge. They just don't know where to go. And it appears Jay Remix is actually pushing up on him. Like this next drop. I only shot my rounds. But I think Jay Remix's main goal where was that contact? India five. Keep is the MTLB. Uh, All right, Jay, there's guys, there's guys oh, it looks like Jay Remix is going to get a shot at this Copy. MTLB. My life He's is gonna get a great it. shot at it on the, uh, inside of the bank. if they stop. Once I shoot this MTLB, I'm running back. They're looking for him, but they don't see him. He's got to be close to hitting it. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting for it to get right, range. Oh, Jay Remick nails it once. Oh no, he hit the bridge. I don't think he hit it. I think Fuck, he hit the bridge. I overshot. Oh, he hit it that time. Boom, it's done. MTLB down. He hit it the Got first it. time. Possibly. Either way, it's done. Yeah, so here's here's how it goes for all these players. When they die, they will immediately stop talking, whatever they're saying. And and they can talk in Discord. They have in Discord. Everybody's in the same Discord channel, so when you die, you can undeafen and join in the, the you know the chat and start watching. Everyone, as soon as you die, gets to watch. So you can fly around. You can see like there's Chaco flying around. You can see the little Iron Feast flying around in front of me. People above me, you know, red or blue. Those are all spectators once they die. Yeah, um, prior to the match, Johnny Omaha, there's SLs will give two, like a two IC and a three IC, a second in command and a third in command. Usually those are going to be the fire team leaders, and they will, and they're going to designate, you know, fire team one, fire team two. And they'll have their fire team leaders, and most of the time, those fire team leaders are going to be the second in command and third in command. But once those two are down, then there's no more, no more communication, no more designating squad leaders. So they, once that like third in command squad leader goes down, he doesn't pass squad lead to anybody. They have to get back to the, you know, to the friendly forces and actually communicate through local chat. And it looks like command went down. Hamlet's gone down. I am missing all the battle in the south here. Ooh, some Russians going down as they push in here. Shots going at the MTLB. You can see the explosion marker. Oh, Glock 712 goes down. Taking shots from the other NSV. Oh, not going to be good. They got to get out of there. Oh, they overheated. Lucky for Mary Android and the Silverman. You know, they're firing back, though. Might as well. Taking shots like that, they don't have long to live. And Silas just called out the MTLB's falling back, and they're actually getting pushed by the other MTLB. They have a rocket handy. Now is the time. Oh, he sees it. They're lighting it up. Get out, Mary Android. You're going to die. Oh, he died. Yeah, Russia's got to take Akeem. You can see all the red arrows and stuff right here. This little bitty village. Bam. Akeem. Akeem. That's what it's called on the map. Can't even see it. There. Right, Akeem sir, right there. Enemy has a track so we're watching that. Down, we believe. And you know what? I still hear a lot of good communication on the Russian side, even though they're yeah, spread yeah, out and taking some casualties. The they're, out of, they're out of vehicles? They're out of vehicles. Good job by the insurgents to destroy those two MTLBs. The Russians have a transport. I think they're done using that. All right, move 
But the good thing for the Russians is that they also get two lats per squad. So they have two lats running around there per squad. There's a lot of comms chatter on command right now. Understood. Let's get an anchor on this east. Bravo is almost up to the eastern flank. Oh, and you know what? The insurgents, or I'm sorry, the militia chose an artillery truck. And they made it rain a second ago. I don't see them now. I don't even know where the truck is. Let's do a quick kill count here. 10 to 11. Actually, so it's pretty close. It is really close. This is anybody's game. The Russians have lost their vehicles, but they haven't lost the lats. Looks like here's where we're going to get our first bit of contact. Squad 3, what's your status? Turtle Guy 5 and Sedingo rocking in the ML Squad MTLD. Squad 3, uh, down. Pooga's in command now. I think I have... What, and there's three Russians up. looking over the hill at it. We're going to keep pushing north and try to get to the objective. Good frag, good frag. You guys have to open. Oh, excellent you question, Johnny it. Omaha. He says, how do they take it? And how they take Lord. it is they basically eliminate all forces in here. That's all. Okay. Back to me. Oh, and we oh, keep yeah. it pretty vague yeah, so, so that we can establish new objectives throughout the match to make sure that everyone gets to fight and everyone gets to participate. We don't want people to just sit there for most of the round just to have somebody else kill everybody and then the round's over. No. We want to make one team completely lose all of its guys. And that's usually what happens. Every now and then we'll have to call a good game before that. Lots of shooting back and forth. Buckshots in the Dishkateki. And he's slinging lead down towards Dharma Trading, server error 404. It's crispy. Total Providence, Husband. I don't even know who their squad leader is. They might have lost all command. And I think that they did. Yeah, Dharma Trading is the squad leader currently. He was a squad leader. Or I am, sorry, a fire team leader. Yeah, no one's surprised, Lish. No one's surprised. But thanks for dropping by. Yeah, that's fine. Just, uh, just stay safe. Don't, don't get uh, okay, so for the most part, you know, I don't see any rockets getting whipped out for the Russians. And this is going to make them pay. They're going to struggle if they can't take out that MTLB and SVT. Which is that track vehicle right here with Turtle Guy 5 and Sedingo in it. Look at that beautiful work. I mean, that looks good. The devs are good. They do good Command, things. Is still Sedingo is live. He's driving that thing. As a matter of fact. Still for three strong. We're taking the heavy contacts. We're not going to be able to push across this field. We're taking... Uh, anyone from squad... Oh, and you know what? This squad could get in uh, with... Who's leading it again? Dharma trading. We can't push over this ridge. If they had a rocket out, they could get in there, drop that MTLB and push it. But I don't think they have a rocket left. There's six guys left out of their nine-man squad, and apparently they lost their squad leader and two. Uh, and two. Lats. Oh, look at Husbird. He's so close to him. CeeLo and Benbot just creeping up. They're crawling right at each other. Oh, they're so close. Husbird right there. Benbot. You're looking at Benbot, and I'm on the other side. Oh, they see. Ah, oh, someone saw him. <laughs> CeeLo saw him. CeeLo takes him out. Benbot stands up. He's not sure. He doesn't know there's more guys right there. Oh, Benbot gets peppered. Looks like it took two shots. At, nope, he's down. Oh, Private Kojak just took a shot from CeeLo. I don't know if CeeLo took any. Kojak's getting up. CeeLo's got a little gun. He might be the lat or the medic or something. He's definitely not rocking an, a solid AK. He's falling back. Smart move by him. Getting the heck out of there. Russians throwing smoke grenades in. I see hear the track vehicle heading. South they go. 
Oh, that poor squad on the north side, Fulcrum and his guys got completely wiped up there. I don't see any of them left. But in the meantime, squad three is out on the east. Pugachev lead them through. They're coming in. It's maybe too little too late. There's not, it's just not a lot left. We are being engaged by an MTOB and uh, enemies directly north of us. Holy fuck. I'm gonna hit that guy with a rat, I swear to god. There's a guy. Um, go fucking 80. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Russians still on the south side. Private Kojak, Total Providence. Darman Trading, who's the squad leader currently. It's crispy and server error 404. Kojak, I see, close to CeeLo and Xbit. Xbit's command, so he's right there. He's in the second floor. Kojak's just outside the window. And their bullets will penetrate these walls. These little fences, bullets will go through that and kill people. That Xbit's just right over top of them. Oh, nice. Total Providence is is healing Kojak. Xbit's right above him in this little house. Silos to the south side. Trying to find two more militia or Russian forces. Here comes the track vehicle. Hit beside him. Turtle Guy 5 and Sedingo just doing the rounds. Is he oh, they heard him. Private Kojak and Providence actually heard Xbit yeah, up there. The, They're throwing the nades in. Oh, bad nade. That's not good. Oh, Squad three's in luckily, neither of them died from it. CeeLo and Total Providence. Oh, Total Providence takes down CeeLo. Catches him going by. Xbit all by himself in the house. He's on the second floor. He is the command. And it looks like that MTLB <laughs> shoot at XBIT almost through the building. Never mind. He is. They're taking shots at Total Providence now. And Kojak. They see him. And you know what? I hear other shots off to the northeast. It's long distance warfare right now. I'm going to stick to the close battle. Strazok's covering his north side. Expert's just prone in the building. He's got nothing he can do. He's in trouble. And Kojak's moving around. Maybe Strazok's going to see him, though. Or Expert's going to look through the window. Kojak said he's got eyes on the technical. He didn't see Strazok, though. Let's just see what he can see. Oh, Strazok taking shots. Oh, Strazok sees him. Oh, he drops him. One taps him. Just like that. Oh, nice try, Kojak. In the meantime, Xbit's getting... Some guts. He's heading down the stairs. He's gonna clear this house. He don't. He's getting losing. Very... Let's look at the kill count: twenty to fifteen. So the militia are actually five more kills than the Russians. You can still hear the shots to the north. That NSVT is not giving up. I'm kind of looking around, seeing a, there's a couple of Russians to the south still. The main force is squad three, and I think a squad four. Yeah, squad three and squad four on the east side. We got three and four. Copy. Oh, oh. Total Providence just getting lit up by that NSV on the MTLB. Just letting them have it. Xbit's going to peek right now. 
He's going to peek on. Oh, gosh. He ran right by Total Providence. Didn't even see him. I think Total Providence. Oh, here it goes. Oh. Oh. Oh, Expert gets him. Jump in the fence. He saw him and he got down. He, he even got a shot. So. Nice shot by Expert taking out Total Providence at the end there. He's still got some more guys to the south he's got to worry about. Let's see what's going on in the east here. Looks like we're about to have a contact. Battle Yak. Battle Yak and Jay Remick pushing up on Merrick 362, as well as Kahuna. A lot of trees in here, though. Yes, a very nice play by Expit. That's a good call, Jack. Let me know when I let me know when I can move. Battle. There's a lot of tree cover and a slope down to the house. Pretty sure one of them's asking the other one to watch their ass. They just got guys just north of them, and you know what? There's been shots fired from here. So it's safe to say that the militia forces are fully aware that they're up here. And Jay Remick, oh, he's got to see somebody. He's crouched like a son of a bitch right now. Look at him. He's using that cover. All the, the brush and the roughage. You know, we don't know, uh, Jack Reynolds, if X is going to give the fallback order. I can't hear them. I'm watching the blue guys. We will be watching Xbit next round, though. Three of them moving up there, sixty yards to my Gosh, this is a good one. This one's this one's going on with action everywhere. Oh, Jay Remick, he's got him. He's following him. He is the RPG though, so he doesn't have the hardest kicking gun. Yeah. No. Wait till they start shooting. We can yep. He's letting them go. I bet he's reporting them. Yeah, copy. He's just reporting their location, copy. waiting for orders. But yeah, uh, tell the other squads there's a five-man team directly between J. Ram and I and the uh, main check. Yeah, now. Remick or, and uh, right over Remick and he's basically losing sight of these guys. They're pushing in. If if the Russians are able to get in here and obtain it and control a camp, that was clear. Or a key, not quite sure how to say the town's name. Yeah, there was an enemy if right next to If they do control it, then the militia will be tasked with taking it back. Whoa! Oh my God! Looks you like fucking Battle hit me. Yak and Remick are starting to make their move up. Oh, Jay Remick's down. I don't know who got him. Maybe it was... It was a team kill. Musket team killed him. Oh, no. What a bummer, man. Good shot by Musket, I guess, but... Bummer that it was a team kill. MTLB down. They just blew up the MTLB. They just heard they called it destroyed. So they did have leftover rockets. They just had to come by them up here on the east side. We're still looking pretty rough for the Russians. They're down by five kills, which means they're outnumbered. Battle Yak goes down. Big Yes takes him out. He heard him up there. He got him. Good job, Big Yes, to take out Battle Yak. That clears out their northeast side. The Russians can – oh, gosh, they can focus more on pushing in, but they got a lot of militia in there. You know what? Xbit's still building stuff, too. Oh, yeah, that TK was rough, Johnny. That was rough. I was looking for Musket. I don't even see him. Oh, there he is. He was down in the south. So he was... Frick, nice shots up there. Good 150 meters or so. Took him out in a couple. Poor Jay Remick. Had the greatest flank of all time coming on him. I bet you when Musket shot at him, he started shooting, thinking he was under fire. So now you can see oh, those poor Russians taking fire through the smoke as they're crawling through the field. 
You know, if they can get to that wall, though, they'll be in good shape. In the meantime, they got a four-man fire, man fire team. Silas, the squad down here. Kirkley, Silverman, not a Chinese spy. Ooh, fully capable of coming in from the south side if they can wrap around. Copy, uh, Squad 4, I'm going to give you a distraction, okay? Once I get up to the base of this fence, I will sh All right, Squad 4 is waiting. That's Silas' squad down here that I was above. Well, this other squad's crawling towards the fence. They're crawling at a snail's pace, that's for sure. I'm, I'm going to pop up and just shoot once, okay? CG Fu is about to pop up and fire a couple shots. Copy. No, he, he took a couple shots off it. Definitely made Strazok hit the ground because that's who it was after. He might even hit him. He might be banishing. Threw a wall. Random shot through a wall. That's awesome. Yeah, the spectators, they pretty much are drones. They even give them a little copter thing to fly around. It's annoying. I wish we could. In the future, we'll be able to hide them so that you don't have to look at them while I'm flying around. Oh, they're just, they're nailing every shot in the middle of those five Russians. Vehicle audio. 23 to 19, so four kill difference is it. Russians talking about a techie in, in range. As soon as it gets close enough, they'll fire upon it. Copy that, guys. Stay low. Enemy technical is roughly 335 to 340. He doesn't know where we are. He's just he's in the grass. Big Yes has his rocket out, but he cannot see the techie. Copy. Squad 2 lead is going to try and engage. He's got to get a little closer. In the meantime, one militia force has gone down. The Russians are doing good. They're staying spread out. All right, what's the evaluation? Fairly out of sight. Guys are remaining. Uh, they're drawn fire, but not accurate fire. Which is still not. You don't want to take fire, whether it's accurate or not. And that techie's in a good spot. He's way back there. He's way back here. Hey guys, don't, don't stand up and spray him. It's not even a techie. It's a dishka. On a rock, surrounded by sandbags. We got one hit on the end. Techie's blown up. Techie's ah, blown up. techie's blown up. Nice. So that's a little confidence boost for the Russians. They're definitely pushing in. Oh, Merrick's Ooh, up the wall. Oh, x bit shooting at him, though. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. there, Kahuna. They saw me peek over the wall. Salute number 12 is way out of there still. And they lost one of their other guys. There was five. Nope. Big Yes is still there. So they, oh, they all lived through that field so far. But they are taking a lot of shots. Pretty soon they'll be out of sight, though. In the meantime, Silverman, not a Chinese spy. And Kirkley are moving in solid with Silas right behind them. He's their squad leader. And I think he's the last squad leader alive. The last original squad leader alive. He really is, yeah. We're not in that house anymore, bitches. Good thing. Hey guys, just remember to keep eyes on our 347, 345 area. Squad 4, I'm going to smoke uh, our 330, 340, we and, and then we're going to try to move. Oh yeah, they're totally... Good communication still. There's right not a lot of... Not a lot of leadership left. Uh, there's only two squad leaders, I think, that are actually available to communicate, and they're communicating real well between each other. Patching, patching. Merrick, CG, Fu, Kahuna, looking in from the east. In the meantime, Kirkley's pushing in slowly. Correct, with the green trim. He's got Silas, not a Chinese spy and silver man behind him. Silas has the Binox out. Excellent suppression. Excellent suppression there. It's time to move in. 
See if they do it. They might not be ready yet. 138 from your pause, Hutch. They're on the rock. Oh, Merrick goes down. Who was his final suppression? Someone one tapped him or something. Cap. We're looking right over these guys' shoulders. Kirkley's down at the next fence. Silas at the rock. Silverman clearing the watching their back in the compound. We're taking fire over here, but you should be able to get around. How you doing there, Scott? 24 to 20. And there they go, Kahuna, CG Fu, they're all running around, relocating. Good thing is, Kirkley, Silverman, not a Chinese spy, Silas, they're all in there, undetected. If they can sneak in, they can really turn this around. But we'll see. There's so much gunfire coming out of there. Look at them. They're afraid. They're afraid to peek. Kirkley's going in, though. He's he's taking that. A uh, Chinese spy right behind him. They know they got to go. He's in the building. He's in the field next to him. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch 30. Oh, they're okay. right on the other side of the wall from Kirkley. <laughs> right there. Chinese spy. Next one. I can that. see him. I can oh. see him crawling. Can I engage? So, not a Chinese spy saw their feet. He's going to engage. He gets one through the wall. He gets the other one through. Oh, no. Shield's getting out of there. Oh, they ate a nade. Silverman goes down. Chinese spy's bleeding. He's healing. Shelton's healing. Shelton goes down. Oh, Silas. Bad nade by Silas ended up being the end. For, <laughs> for who? For the Silverman. Oh, I'm sorry, Silverman. Shout out for you. Oh, Johnny Omaha's at least half right. Suppression does work during squad ops big time. And I think it works a little bit in vanilla, at least for experienced players. But a lot of times, people will just, you know, they'll be getting shot at, and they don't care. They're going to run across that street no matter what, and they're going to die. Because that guy shooting the suppression isn't suppressing. He's taking shots to kill. He'll adjust and kill you. Squad four, we're still suppressing. Kirkley's peeking the corner. Well, let's check it out again. 24 to 23. So the Russians pushing in with a little bit of influence now. They've got their little strike force in the front. There's only three guys left in the front. Chinese spy Silas and Kirkley because poor Silverman went down to a friendly grenade. Yeah, they know they're getting shot at. Look at that. Look at those shots going through the fence. Rolando knows those shots go through. He's taking random shots. He doesn't care. No clue. Uh, I hear the shots. Oh. Squad four, is it safe for us to cross this field, or should we try to take your? <laughs> we got contacts direct north of us across the road. I'm oh, the communication is so awesome right now. Oh my God. In local, there every grenade that goes off, they're like, "Ooh, -hoo. if 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 something goes, if something happens, they're like everyone good in command chat? You good? Are we safe to do this?" So they're trying to cover each other and watch each other's back, even in the thick of it. Throwing a frag. And Silas is pushing up. One more, one more. Crazy Russian and Silas. Oh, crazy Russian throws another nade. Throws two nades. Kirkley dodges it somehow. Oh, Silas firing through it, firing through the fence. Kirkley firing through. Oh, Kirkley fires through and he takes out Crazy Russian. Strazok and D Mine 41. It looks like D Mine might be a medic. May have healed Strazok. Kirkley and Silas and Chinese fire still hanging out. 
Oh, Chinese spy goes down from the west. Whole militia squad, expert, Sergeant NATO, Brolando, Gaming, Brennan, and Buckshot. All in there. Oh! Who would you see? Big Yes goes down to Strapaws, I think. Look at all these bodies drop. Fu goes down. Another guy goes down for the militia. Get dirty. Get dirty. 27 to 27 for kills. For si We're tied on kills. What do we got? Let's back it up. Let's back it up. Take a look. Let's take a quick look. I'm buzzing around everywhere. All right. Server arrow. 4 of 4. Out in the middle of nowhere. He needs to move in. Help out. He might be able to support from there. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. And with Strazak down, so there's 3. We're down to 3 Russians. Militia have Buckshot, Brennan, Brolando, and NATO. Four Militia. So three on four. 28 on 29 kills. Makes sense. All working out. Oh, I'm going to try to get down so we can hide all the flying drones. For the most part, we got Kirkley, Saloon number 12, and Server Error 404. In the meantime, the Militia have all fallen back together. They got NATO, Buckshot, the Gaming Brennan, and Brolando. And they're still shooting. Everybody's shooting. They know where each other's at. They don't care. I just killed one. Kirkley says he killed a guy. Maybe he did. Maybe there was another guy alive that I missed. I don't know. Yeah. You just keep watching my 120s. I'm watching the truck. Watch it. The big, the big one here could be the server error for 04. If he can flank around, he's just creeping on his belly. Look at him. So slow. So slow. But you know what? He's fearing for his life right now. He's the only one out there on that hillside. I don't blame him. Yeah, I can make everything go away. All right, there's what it's like without it. Without any silhouettes or anything. There's a Russian running. You don't know who it is. Then we hit all these. And all of a sudden you know. That was Kirkley and saloon number twelve. So if I get hit, gonna have to be trying to spot. Alright, sounds like Kirkley's out of bandages. He's already been hit twice, he's bandaged up. Wish you could spare me a mag. No, no, just to hide the other admin cams, there's nothing yet. That's going to be a mod in the future, probably. Bam! They took out, I think it was Brolando. It was Brolando that was over there. I remember that. Yeah, definitely Running Duck. This game is 100% alpha still in the developmental phase. So we're kind of back burner. You know, like admin cams and stuff like that. They want gameplay to be fun and have all the cool stuff there. But eventually, especially with the institution of mods, oh, gaming Brennan goes down to Kirkley. Kirkley's on fire. Let's see what Kirkley's got. He is burning them all. He's got seven kills. So Kirkley is just tearing it up. As for kills, where are we here? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Two. Yeah, Sergeant yeah. Nato and and Buckshot are the last two militia. In the meantime, we've got Kirkley, Saloon number 12, and I think Server server 404 is still up. Kirkley goes down. Kirkley takes one to the dome or he is done. Saloon number 12 is bandaging. He happens to be a medic, so he can take care of himself. So it's down to a two-on-two, -two, folks. Let's get dirty. So we like to see. Oh yeah. Yep, you're right, running duck, to be honest. I have no idea who you are. You're just a guy in the chat. <laughs> Look at that. Saloon number twelve is telling server number four oh four to come to or server error four oh four to come to him. 
It's okay too, Running Duck. NA doesn't know me either. I got to bandage myself. I can see now. Yeah, you're good to go. All right. Looks like Saloon and Server are finally able to communicate. You know, it's just NATO and Buckshot. It's two on two. You don't see this very often. This is pretty good. Oh, NATO takes a one tap. Someone drafts him. Server a 404 takes him down. Wow. That was unexpected. So it's all Buckshot. All by himself now. And you know what? Buckshot's not not a bad shot. He's a medic too. He's got the medic. He can take a shot. There we go. Got the stencils out now. Spider Oz, so many, so many is everyone that dies gets admin cam to watch. I know that's why I try to stay low at the end of the match just to keep them out of sight. That's something we can work on in the future. What a round one! This is only round one, people. This is just round one of Operation Rising Giant on Gordok. And this is Squad Ops you're watching. If you like what's going on here, you might want to check us out at squadops.gg. Yes, there are running duck. There, there is an EU time friendly event. We actually do an EU event on Saturdays, every Saturday. Well, Buckshot's falling back. He's heading over by the transport. No, I think the EU event is, I don't know, roughly 8 or 9 p.m. for them. Maybe 7. Depends where they're at. Saloon number 12, server 404, moving in. Did they get him? No, Buckshot's right here. I'm going to stay over Buckshot's shoulder. He's the last militia alive. So if he wins, we'll have a sweet view of it. Oh, he might have saw Saloon number 12 pushing in. Server arrow 404 off to his right. Oh, Saloon and Buckshot trading shots. Saloon peeking. Saloon peeking. Doesn't see him. I don't know if I... I'm throwing a grenade over there. Oh, Surveyor 404 is throwing a nade. Here it comes. He lobs it. It's too far. It's going to go off right under me. Boom. Look at that. Saloon and Buckshot just opposite sides of the wall. Oh, Buckshot takes a hit. Cerveros trying to peek. Does he see him? Nope, doesn't see him. Saloon hears him. He's on the uh, north side of the. the... Oh, the callouts are great. They know exactly where he is. Oh, done. Bam. Good fuck? game. Nice shot, Cerveros. Right. Four, four. Good game, everybody. Juan Tap Ben asking me if I'm going to let Omaha commentate an op with me anytime. I'll let anybody commentate with me anytime, especially Johnny Omaha. It's it's whether they want to or not. And and it's great having an extra guy here, someone I can bounce stuff off of. It's awesome. You know, it's fun doing it solo. I love flying solo. But it's great to have someone here with me to talk back and forth with. That was round one. Round one, everybody. Uh, we had some great performances, uh, say from Kirkley.
and I think Server Arrow 404 put in a good effort. You know what? Strazok for the militia. Gosh, lots of guys. Hutch got three. CeeLo got three. Good job. Good game. That came down to a two-on-one. That was an excellent time. Excellent freaking round. And you know what? We're going to be back with another one, too, with Operation Rising Giant. That's what we're running right now uh, uh, for Squad Ops, the One Life event. It's April 12th, 2017, this freaking beautiful map of Gorodok. And again, Operation Rising Giant. I want to throw a big shout-out to our commands, Expit and Hamley. Not to mention the plethora of cameras that I'm going to read off really fast. Crazy Russian, Benbot 16, Big Yes, Hyper Evo, J Remick, Lish, Nacho 24, Nasty Nate, Shadowed Ritual, Truth Realm, Xbit, Silo, Sedingo, Techno Brit, Merrick 362. All these guys providing a first person camera. It's for the viewing experience. They don't do it for themselves, I'll tell you that. They do it so that people can watch this and, and enjoy it. And I hope that's what we're doing. I want people to enjoy it. Especially our cameraman, Penn. God, this guy's good. I clap. He's good. Yeah, go refill your drinks, the gunny. I'm going to go refill mine. I'm, you know, head to the bathroom. Do all that stuff, you guys. Uh, we're about another five, seven minutes. We'll take a quick break. Five to ten minutes, we'll be back in this. Going with round two, They just the teams just switch sides. They get a little bit of time to brief, and we're going to be right back into it again. And if you're not here yet, or if you just got here, I'll tell you exactly what's going on after this. And the only person Penn talks to is me. I've asked him. I've asked him if he wants to talk. He doesn't want to. He, he likes the mystique. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in about five to ten minutes. Probably five minutes. We'll be right back. 